Hey guys, my name is Glenn. I got my real estate license in 1998 and I've been doing commercial real estate ever since. And in this video, we're gonna say why you need a real estate agent. Now this is gonna to apply to both uh, residential or commercial. And before we get into the video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Now, a lot of people try to do a real estate transaction themselves, whether it's buying or leasing, and I'm not sure why, because you never pay the buyer's broker. The uh, real estate broker or brokers, because there's usually a listing agent and a selling agent, or on the commercial side, we call that, very bumpy road here, we call that uh, an agency broker who works for the landlord or the seller, and then a tenant rep broker who represents the tenant who's gonna be leasing or buying the building. And uh, the commissions are always paid by the landlord or the seller. So there's no reason not to have somebody representing you. A lot of people try to do a transaction themselves or even use the landlord's broker or the seller's broker. And that's a big mistake because their allegiance is the landlord. You always need somebody on your side negotiating for you. And you're not gonna be, there's a reason you need a real estate license. And even if I sell my own house or don't sell my old house, and you know, I can tell you, when I bought and sold my own houses that I lived in, I'm in my second house now, but my first house and my second house, I had a real estate license, but I hired a residential broker, which I paid uh, a full commission because they were an expert at residential where I'm an expert at uh, commercial. So it does make a big deal having somebody that is an expert in that field and you'll get more for your money. Could I have sold my house myself? Absolutely but am I gonna get as much as a residential broker who does it for a living now? So even paying that five or 6% commission is still gonna make me more money in the long run. So that's the point of this story. Always have somebody negotiating on your side when you're buying or, uh, sun's coming to my eyes here, buying or, uh, or leasing. There's no reason not to use a broker because you do not pay that broker. The commission will always come out of the landlord's side or the seller's side and you will be protected. So remember guys to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video.